Yeah, we can see what they have here. She has walked these halls for 14 years, guiding families through news no parent is ever prepared to hear. I thought, um, you know, having worked in the area for as long as I have, that somehow that made me immune to the diagnosis. When's your birthday, honey? Nicole Robinson thought appendicitis could be the cause for a sickness that brought her own five-year-old to the emergency department last year until she saw one of her colleagues from oncology walk into the examination room. Definitely um, life-changing words to hear and let me know that they had found leukemia in his blood. Right, we're just going to do a checkup, okay? Fortunately for Hendrix, just a few weeks before that diagnosis, kids' cancer care saw a transformative breakthrough. There was a tremendous improvement in the survival of those children who were treated with blinatumumab on top of regular chemotherapy. Blinatumumab, or Blina, is a targeted chemotherapy using the immune system to attack cancer cells, proving so effective clinical trials were cut short, expediting access with survival rates rising to 97%. Hendrix is now on his second and final treatment, a 28-day infusion lasting 24 hours a day and seven days a week. This is where the challenge with blinitumumab comes from because we don't want to keep kids and families in the hospital for 28 days at a time. This is the medicine. But with a portable pump, kids like Hendrix are living a little larger outside these hospital walls, something that wouldn't be possible without donations. To have that outpouring of support from friends and families and co-workers, the whole community really is so incredible and just helps you know, raise us up during a really difficult time. Helping Hendrix Even get back to being a kid. The thing I'll have to do is fight my body. Sarah Often, Global News. There are nightly wrestling matches at home. <laughs>